to start a heat press business, but maybe you're not sure exactly where to start, then you don't want to miss out on our heat press entrepreneur masterclass. In these classes, we're going to explore and explain the five most popular heat transfer methods, heat transfer vinyl, heat transfer paper, sublimation, white toner DTF, and supercolor. We also have classes dedicated to helping you choose the right heat press for your business. In addition to valuable info on how to get your brand new heat press business started on the right foot. There are classes that cover topics like pricing, managing your order workflow, choosing the right online sales channel and more. The Heat Press Entrepreneur Masterclass is available for purchase separately, but it is included for free on qualifying orders at heatpressnation.com. For more info, visit heat.press slash masterclass or click the link in the description below. Thanks, Jared. I'll take it from here. You're welcome, Jared. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's just kind of weird seeing myself on a video and then like being back here, but don't worry. It's the real me. I'm actually here live right now. And uh, yeah, this is Heat Press Nation Live. My name's Jared and it is an absolute pleasure to be here. Today I'm talking about something that I really, really love. And I know every week I'm like, oh, we have something special. And it is special. Uh, I genuinely do love heat pressing and everything that entails, but I got my start with vinyl. So I'm really excited today to be able to talk about vinyl cutters, how to choose the right one, and I'm actually gonna do a live cut demo. You see, I have my computer right here. I got my Vinyl Systems Evo. Oh, well, I say my, it's not actually mine, although I might put it in my car uh, on the way out of here today. Uh, and then, of course, I have my comments right here. So I wanna say what's up to everybody. I saw that we have a few shout outs in the chat. Creative Expressions and Gifts says hi to everyone from beautiful South Carolina. Very cool. Pat Allison says, yo, hot Lana in the house. Uh, Creative Blessings and Design says, yay, hey, everybody. Well, hey to you. And that's going to be our Facebook. Let, I mean, that was YouTube. Let's see who's on Facebook right now. Can I do that? There we go. I'm going to load in. There we go. Tammy Bank says Fredericksburg VA is in the house. My pal Terry Johnson is watching. So good to see you. Uh, Donna Howard says, good afternoon. Hello. We got Janice saying hi from San Diego. Oh, man. San Diego. My heart. You guys know that's where my wife's from. And uh, man, have I fallen in love with that city and with their tacos. <laughs> oh, Terry says hi from sunny Florida. Oh, miss seeing you too. Maybe we'll see you in Hawaii next month. Not sure. Um, but yeah, saying hello from sunny Florida. So good to see you. And yeah, hi to everybody uh, out there. Uh, this is Heat Press Nation Live, where every week we get to show you guys new heat transfer. I say stuff. I feel like stuff is just such a not good word <laughs> for that. We get to show you new techniques, new products, new processes, and new ways for you to have fun. And let's be real, new ways for you to make some money. Uh, so right out of the gate, I do have to tell you that we are running our end of summer sale today. There's no code necessary. Just head on over to heatpressnation.com. You'll see the big banner ad for uh, our sale. If you click on that, that's going to take you straight to all of our items that are on sale. So it's not everything. There are select items on sale and there are some pretty darn good ones. Uh, for example, you can get up to 30% off of select heat presses, up to 30% off of select vinyl cutters, and then up to 20% off of Sublimation Drinkware. So you do not want to miss that. Now, I'm telling you guys about this right now. This sale has actually already been going on for a little while. And you wanna know who knew first about our sale? Do you wanna know the first people to know about our sale? It was everybody who was signed up for our text notifications. Uh, so if you would like to know anytime we have a special sale running, go ahead and sign up for our text notifications. You're gonna text the word HEAT that's H-E-A-T. You're going to text the word HEAT to 31592. Once again, well, you see it on screen there. You know how to read. <laughs> You're going to text the word HEAT to 31592. Yeah, so today I'm really excited. I'm going to be talking about vinyl cutters. You see here 30% off of select cutters and different heat presses. I see that Craft Pro Mug and Tumbler press on sale. That's a goodie. And then today, man, I'm super stoked. Now, if you guys follow us on Instagram, you may or may not know, I actually went live earlier today at around 10 o'clock our time, uh, Pacific time, and I showed you guys the Vinyl Systems Edge. 
This is like the bigger brother to the vinyl system's edge. And I'm gonna be talking about lots of vinyl cutters today, um, but one thing I gotta tell you right now is this cutter, it's on sale. Regular price is $9.99. Right now, part of our end of summer sale, $7.99. So it went from $1,000 to $800. That's a $200 savings on this cutter. It's a beautiful cutter, very quiet, which we're actually gonna demo this like today, like I said, I have my computer here. Uh, I'm gonna actually do a live cut right now, or in a few minutes, I should say. And you can see just how awesome this cutter is. Now, it is on a tabletop right now, but it, it comes with the stand, which I love the stand. It's on a table just because we're it's on we're on camera right now, but the stand is super dope, and you don't want to miss out on that. Um, yeah, so check this out. I'm gonna. Oh, by the way, if you have any questions at all, do me a favor, drop it in the comments. I'm gonna be getting to the comments as best as I can today. Now, my pal Ronnie, she is also here uh, in spirit. No, she's here in comments. So she's in our comment section and she's gonna be helping me answer some questions, but I wanna to get to everything live. Oh, more and more people shouting out. All right, so we got Travel Diva 2 saying hello from Texas. Pablo says, LA in the house. There we go. Gotta rep LA. Uh, shout out Kobe, big man. Birthday was yesterday. Uh, April says, Washington State. Muhammad Omar says, hi to everyone from the UK. Oh, that's super cool. We're international today. Very cool. Becky is saying, what's up from Fafftown? I hope I said that right. Fafftown, North Carolina. And Creative Expressions and Gifts is making us all jealous because they just got back from, from an amazing cruise. Super cool. All right, so really quick here. Today, I'm talking about how to choose a vinyl cutter like a pro. So. Here at Heat Press Nation, we, we believe a lot of things. Um, <laughs> but one thing we really believe in truly for our customers is that there's not one single product out there for everybody. There's not one magic heat press for everybody. There's not one magic vinyl cutter for everybody. There's not one transfer method. There's only the right product for you. And there's a lot of different things that kind of go into this. There's a lot of different things that go into selecting the right vinyl cutter. So today, Really quick, I do wanna to touch on how to pick the right vinyl cutter. So if you're out there, maybe you're thinking about starting a new business. Uh, on Sunday, you know, it was really funny after, um, on Sunday mornings, I play a, I play a guitar uh, at a church, and that's not mine, and then in the afternoons, I go to my own church. But in the, in the mornings, I play at another church, and someone came up to me and was like, hey, you're, you're the video guy, right? And I'm like, depends on what kind of videos you're watching, but probably. And anyways, we got to talking, and I helped them pick a vinyl cutter this week. Uh, and it was really cool. Um, because they were looking at some products, but then we kind of talked a little bit, and then I helped them determine, no, this is actually gonna work best for your budget, application, your space. So there's a lot uh, that goes into. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So uh, Vinyl Cutters 101, let's do this. So how to choose an upgrade like a pro. Um, so the first thing, there's different factors to consider, and you guys see it on screen there. Feel free to take your screenshots. Um, I don't like reading the slides, you know, because I know you guys know how to read. Um, so, you know, we have volume, precision, materials, business growth. Basically, you want to first consider when you're picking a vinyl cutter, like how much are you going to be cutting? So, and the reason why we say that is because if you're doing like 100 t-shirts and you're doing 100 of the same graphic, you can actually save money. You could save your cost per vinyl by putting it on a really wide, maybe like a 24 inch or a 20 inch roll of vinyl and just cutting it like that. We do sell vinyl by the sheets, but if you're cutting a lot of the same thing, you don't wanna load one sheet after one sheet after one sheet. You're gonna save money if you buy a bigger, wider, longer roll. And how do you accommodate that with a bigger, wider, longer heat uh, vinyl cutter? So you know, you wanna consider your volume, like what's your output gonna be like? Oh, or, you know, like if you're doing custom jobs, how many custom jobs? you could? gang them all up together, so that way all your white vinyl, you're just gonna cut that all on one piece, one piece from your roll. You know, so you wanna consider that. Precision is important, and what's really cool about precision is a lot of the newer vinyl cutters, a lot of the vinyl cutters that we carry are actually really awesome. You know, back in the day, you kinda had to worry about, oh, is this thing even gonna cut clean? Is it gonna round off all my corners? Um, that's, you know, or, I mean, if you're looking at like, Amazon vinyl cutters or, you know, just low quality vinyl cutters. That is something you have to worry about. But when you're buying from Heat Press Nation, yes, we have you covered on precision. Uh, 
materials. Now this is important. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are looking at vinyl cutters to start a t-shirt business, but what's cool about these vinyl cutters, even though our focus is for heat transfer vinyl, um, there are other materials you can cut. Like most common is gonna be adhesive decal vinyl, like your Caesar PSV range um, or Starling from Caesar, really great product. You also have stuff like Oracal 651. Um, you know, so there's cool stuff like that that you could cut with your vinyl cutter. There's other things people cut, which I don't even, I feel like I shouldn't even mention it, but what the heck. Some people actually cut like window tint and uh, vehicle wrap and paint protection film. For that, you gotta go for like the really high-end expensive cutter. But I mean, maybe you run a tint shop and you guys have a dope merch line. And so you wanna be able to cut your tint in the morning and then in the afternoon switch over and you're, and you're cutting your t-shirt vinyl or your adhesive decal vinyl. Hey, that's cool. Um, also for t-shirts, like today we're gonna be cutting puff vinyl, but there's other stuff like Caesar Brick is like a really thick vinyl. You got strip flock. So you just wanna consider the materials that you want to cut. And then of course you wanna think about your business growth. Like I personally adore my silhouette cameo. In fact, at home, I still run the Cameo 3. Right now, the Cameo 4 is out, it's on sale, and rumor has it, either later next year, or, or sorry, later this year or early next year, we might have a new Cameo. What the heck, right? So you wanna think about business growth. Like I said, I'm still running my Cameo 3. I haven't bought a new vinyl cutter in like four or five years, um, because it still works for me. It still works for my volume, it works for my output, I don't have any extra room for anything in my house. I, have a I live in the tiniest little apartment you've ever seen. Uh, and so, yeah, I, I need to have a small vinyl cutter. Now, as my business grows and maybe I move into a bigger space, then I could maybe move into a bigger vinyl cutter. But you know, there's so many things that you wanna consider before you start with your cutting uh, machine. So really quick, I know I'm talking a lot. As the questions come in, I'm gonna try to get to them. <laughs> Brian Lofton, I didn't mean it like that, all right? <laughs> um, Creative Expressions and Gifts says, why does the vinyl system say regular price $5.49 and sale price $7.99? That's funny, that's probably a typo, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know <laughs> why it says that. Um, the regular price for this Evo is $9.99. So, oh, it should be fixed now, okay, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, that was a typo. The regular price for the Evo is $9.99 uh, and the sale price is $7.99. And if you don't believe me, you can go to the Wayback Machine. I just discovered that, it's super cool. It gives you, it shows you like old versions of a website. You can go, trust me, you'll, you'll see it's, it's $9.99. Uh, let's see. Cre Creative Expressions and Gifts says, I'm still using my Cameo 2, even though I have a new Cameo 4. That's hilarious. Yeah, I mean, I work here. I get a discount on this stuff and I still, hey, if it's not broke, I mean, my Cameo 3 still kicks butt for me and it, it still makes me money. So, yeah. I mean, I might pass it down to one of my friends or, or my nephew or something like that when I get my new cutter, but for now, it's still doing really good uh, for me here. So yeah, as the questions come in, please feel free to drop them in the comments. I'll be happy to get to them as soon as possible. Um, so we were talking about factors to consider. There is one more thing before I get into our demo here, and that's gonna be selecting the right vinyl cutter. Now, this, this is not like, how do I say this? This is not set in stone, okay? We have different recommendations for different vinyl cutters based on what they're commonly used for. Now, you might be doing a hobby, right? This might just be maybe you're making some gifts for your bridesmaids. You know, you got a wedding coming up. You wanna make some bridesmaids gifts, whatever. But maybe you're rich and you're like, I'm just gonna buy the best of the best. Hey, I won't stop you, all right? I'd be happy to sell you an industrial use vinyl cutter for your home crafting use if that's really what you want. So feel free to, to, to pick from, from different ones. This is not set in stone. Um, the reason why we split up the categories like this is to just help our customers make an informed decision on which cutter is very likely going to best suit them. Like I said, you have options. There's different things to consider. Um, so what you're seeing on screen here, for example, let's look at small business, right? The second column. Uh, small business, you know, you're gonna get larger cutting widths than what you would find for the home use cutters. You're gonna see, you're gonna be able to put out higher volumes. Not saying that you can't do high volume on a home use cutter, 
but because the small business cutters are a little bit bigger and a little bit faster, you're gonna have an easier time cutting more products. That's all we're saying by that. Um, also, now, if we look at the industrial use category, right? Let's go to industrial use. What do we see there? These are gonna have advanced features like auto cutoff and creasing. Some of these things we don't even use for vinyl, but they're there to help with like packaging. Like I said, some people use these things for like paint protection film, vehicle wrap. So these are like really heavy duty vinyl cutters. Um, you know, window trend, uh, clear bra, which is the, the, you know, the, like the front cover for the machines. And for these, we have these super crazy machines uh, like the Jaguar 5, the Graftech FC 9000. You know, if, if you're just making a few t-shirts a year, you could spend like, what is it? I think it's like four to six grand. I forget what the exact price range is for an FC 9000, but very likely you'll be fine with the $300 Cameo. Again, I say very likely, it's your money, you spend it however you want to. Now, the reverse of that is not always true. If I had to do 500 cuts a day, I probably would not use the Cameo. Not because it can't, um, but because the Cameo is not super fast, that's not where its strength lies. Um, and because if I'm using like a 12 inch Cameo, I'm cutting on smaller rolls, I'm gonna be spending more on my materials I'm gonna be spending more on time because time is money, right? So it's gonna take more time to get through those cuts. And if I'm cutting 500 jobs a day, that's actually, that means that I have a lot of revenue coming into my business. So why would I not use some of that revenue to optimize my workflow? Why, if I'm doing 500 jobs a day, I'm making good money, why would I not invest in a cutter that can get my work done faster so I could take more work? Maybe. I could do 700 jobs a day, 1,000 jobs a day, cuts a day, with a bigger, wider, faster cutter, or maybe two cutters, you know? I don't know. So that's why we have them organized this way, is to help get you on the right track. So you, what you wanna consider is, what are you gonna be using it for? Are you gonna be doing home use, casual use? Is it gonna be like, hey, no, we run a t-shirt shop. Now, we don't do 1,000 shirts a day, but we do 50. You know, maybe you're right in the middle. Uh, so it all depends. And if you don't know where you're at, give us a call. The number is right there on the screen, 800-215-0894. You could talk to one of our awesome sales associates. Uh, heck, you might even get me on the phone every now and then. And yeah, we'd be happy to hear you out, hear what you plan on doing with your business. And we'll make you our, we'll try to give you our best uh, recommendation based on the information that you want to share with us. Uh, and yeah, we, we'll, we'll do our very best to get you off on the right track. Uh, so <laughs> Donna Howard says, yikes, I'm still using a portrait. Hey, more power to you if you're getting it done with a portrait. Uh, the portrait, that's the, that's the smaller, like, that's the eight inch final cutter. But hey, if, if it's working, it's working. I won't tell you to stop. All right here, there we go, there we go. Yeah, any questions at all, feel free to drop it in the chat. So now we're actually gonna get into our live demo. Now, before I proceed, I gotta tell you guys about the Vinyl Systems line of cutters. This is our line, so these are HPN machines. It means that they're backed by Heat Press Nation's awesome My Expert Protection, which is our warranty coverage. Um, so you're gonna get one year parts and labor coverage on the machine. You can actually extend it uh, with the extended My Expert Protection for up to four years of coverage. And we offer free lifetime technical support on everything that we sell, um, but because these are our vinyl cutters, we're actually really good <laughs> at support on this. Um, so the vinyl systems, man, I can't say enough good things about it. This is the Evo. So now we have, again, so this price, we fixed it, by the way, the regular price is $999, $1,000. The sale price is $800. Uh, earlier on Instagram, I was showing off the Edge, which is our mid-range cutter. In my opinion, the Edge, and you see the pricing there, the Edge, uh, that one's on the regular price is, actually, I think it's switched on the screen. The regular price is $679. The sale price is $549. Hey, we're so, we're, we have so many items on sale. It's, it's getting mixed up, but don't worry. That machine is on sale, the Vinyl Systems Edge. If you're looking for the probably one of the best mid-range vinyl cutters on the planet, the best bang for your buck, get the Edge. Now the Edge, it uses a stepper motor, so it's a little loud. So as you're gonna see with the Evo right now, the Evo has the upgraded servo motor. So this cut's gonna be much, much quieter. You're even gonna get a little bit extra speed, a little bit extra cutting force and precision. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show you guys my screen in just a second. We're gonna 
get that all connected here. And what's gonna happen, oh, well, let me show you how it loads. Now, you probably can't see this in the back, but the vinyl, it just loads, right? When, this, this, when you get this machine, it's gonna come with a stand. Obviously, we're on camera here, so I don't have my stand. Uh, I just have, it, it's on a table. But you could load it from the back or front and feed it through here. There we go. I'm gonna line it up. Usually, I'm standing in front of it for this. There, you probably don't see it. There's a ruler. Oh, you do see it. There's a ruler on the front. There's actually two. And that really super duper helps make sure that your vinyl is aligned. And so all I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna move my vinyl and move the blade. Put the position. My settings are already set. So let's go over to our screen share here. So check this out. Now this is probably the first time I've ever done this. Um, but I wanted to test out this new graphic, and so what the heck, this is from my line. Uh, I don't really shop my brand out, because I think it's inappropriate. The brand isn't inappropriate, I just don't like using my company, the company airtime for promoting myself. But anyways, this is one of my graphics that I have for my business. This is already vectorized, it's ready to go. What you're looking at is Sign Master Pro. And really quick, I don't have enough time to do a full tutorial. Now we do have some webinars on our YouTube channel, um, so feel free to check that out if you want more info on Sign Master. But what I love is, like, I'm just gonna click on my text tool, right? And so what's cool about this is all the fonts that are in your computer, they're gonna be preloaded into Sign Master. And most computers now come with a lot. So look at all these cool fonts. Any font you have installed in your computer is gonna get already loaded. Oh, I think I clicked the wrong one. Hold on, sorry. Let's just click this one. There we go. Yeah, and so now you could do text. There's so many cool things that you can do here. Um, uh, one of them, my, one of my favorite is block shadow. Look how easy that is. And then you could, you could, of course, you could manipulate it by like extending it. Like there's so many neat little tricks that you could do um, with in Vinyl Systems Pro or sorry, Sign Master Pro, I love it. Now, one of the one of my favorite things to do here, let me right click this, architect, so check it out. Putting text on a circle can suck sometimes because you have to draw your circle, you have to add your text, and then you have to jump through all these doggone hoops just to get your text on a circle. With Sign Master Pro, it is so easy. You could adjust the, um, the radius of the circle, right? You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. For me, text on a circle um, with Sign Master Pro is, is probably one of the easiest, easiest text on circle uh, jobs I've done. And these are just some of the features that come in Sign Master Pro. I don't have enough time uh, to show all of them to you. And today I'm just gonna send this to cut for our tutorial. But just to give you a little teaser, that's what you could do with it. So anyway, so I have my graphic here. I'm gonna click on uh, Send to Cutter. Everything's already loaded. As you can see, I could have it, there's some quick functions. Um, I could rotate it if I want to. There we go. Make it fit my vinyl better. It'll default to mirror my vinyl, but if I was cutting, let's say I was cutting some uh, decal vinyl, I would, I would not mirror it. But since this is puff vinyl, is heat transfer vinyl, I am gonna mirror it. And then, oh, the auto weed box. I love the auto weed box. I'm gonna leave that checked. So many cool options. Uh, and then now I'm, it's ready to go, so I'm just gonna send it to cut. It's gonna, yep, double check. And there it goes. Look how quiet it is, look, check this out. I'm taking off my mic. I'm taking off my mic and I'm gonna put it to the cutter. Dude, that is so quiet. That is so doggone quiet. So there are some, oh, let me put my mic. So there are some situations where you may need a quiet cutter. That's when you're gonna wanna look for something with the servo motor. Uh, besides the Evo, you do have cutters like the Graftec CE7000, like the GCC Puma uh, that have servo motors. 
but those cutters are gonna be way more expensive. 800 bucks, this is an insane deal on a vinyl cutter with a servo motor. Amazing precision and speed, and as you could tell, very, very quiet. Um, the most common need for having a quiet cutter is if you're running your business in a shared space. Um, dude, this is not gonna bother anyone, man. Um, another thing, if you're taking phone calls, like if you're always, you know, you're trying to negotiate deals, talk to customers, you don't wanna have to move to another room uh, to take those calls just because your vinyl cutter is going. So there are definitely some advantages to having a servo motor besides the extra speed and cut force. Really, just the, the noise factor alone is, for me, enough reason to really love, love it. Um, checking out some questions here. Uh, Creative Blessings and Design says, I have a Cameo 24 inch. Um, it's been sitting almost two years. It doesn't hold the mat correctly. Do me a favor, call our tech. Well, if you purchased your Cameo Pro from us, call our technical support team. They'll be happy to help you troubleshoot the issue and get it to load your vinyl mat uh, correctly, because that's, that's a big deal. You, you spent good money on that. You want to be able to use it. Um, Creative Expressions and Gifts says, what is the difference between the GCC and the Evo? Does the Evo include a cut software? Yes. So the cut software that you just showed on, that I just showed you on screen, uh, it's called FineMaster Pro. That is included with the Evo. GC, GCC now includes a cut software called Great Cut S. It's similar. To me, it, it reminds me of the older Silhouette Studio. Um, if, you're, if you've used Silhouette Studio, you'll find it very familiar. What's cool about GCC is GCC is Mac compatible. Uh, Vinyl Systems, full disclosure, is going to be for Windows only, and that's because of the software. Um, so if you do have a Mac, then you'll probably want to look into the GCC uh, line of cutters or GraphTech. GraphTech is great for, uh, for Windows as well. Um, but the difference is they are minor. I would say the GCC, if we're comparing the Puma to the Evo, the Puma has like this much, like you can't even tell, like the tiniest bit of uh, precision advantage on the Evo. Actually, let me take this out. I'm gonna start weeding this on camera for you guys. So you can see just how clean and great the cuts look. I guess I'm gonna, re here, I'm gonna pull this back just a hair so you guys can see me weeding this live. So what I was saying about the Evo is, I'm uh, sorry, about the GC has the tiniest little bit of an advantage when it comes to precision. Now, that being said, usually for heat transfer vinyl, you don't need to be cutting that tiny anyways. Um, so, you know, I'm not gonna lie and say that the GCC is worse or the same. The GCC is, and the GCC Puma specifically, is slightly better than the Evo, but at what price? To me, the, the price difference of the GCC and the Evo, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, like the price gap is so big that I don't see why anybody, like to me, the additional features that you get, I mean, unless we're talking about Mac compatibility, but besides that, like the, uh, like the resolution and, and things like that, to me, that's not worth it, man. I, for that, I would take the Evo 500 times, um, just because of the price difference, you know? Let's see here. We got a good cut. There we go. So as you can see here, I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm reach, it's kind of awkward because I'm like reaching over the cutter to weed uh, my stuff, but look how clean everything came out. And that's the thing, just because the GCC has slightly better precision does not mean the evil is lacking in any way. Trust me when I say, this thing can handle your cuts, it can get them clean, and dude, you're, you're in business, man. So here we go, did I miss a spot? Yes, I did. I always miss a spot when I'm weeding on camera. There we go. I'll flip that over so we could see it. This is the orange puff vinyl. Look at that. That's pretty darn good. That's beautiful. It cut it really quick, by the way. We have lots of details. Um, Tamara Banks says, I am still on the Cricut. Is SignMaster compatible? So SignMaster is great as a design software. Uh, actually, Alex, can we get back on screen here? Let me show them kind of what I mean. So check it out, as, as I was uh, showing you guys just a second ago, and I'll do it again. Um, so like as a design software, there's lots of great tools in SignMaster Pro, right? 
So here we go. Okay, big deal, right? Um, let's move this. Oh, here we go. So, right, so Sign Master Pro, um, as a design software, it's great. I'm just gonna do something really basic here, really quick. Um, these, this block shadow, I absolutely love the block shadow. I think it's such a cool feature to have because it's so easy to manipulate. Like I could do that in like Illustrator, but it would just take me too darn long to do this in Illustrator. It's so, it's so easy. Uh, so anyways, yeah. So now what I could do is let's, let's delete this, right? So now what I could do, I'm just going to write, uh, an object. I just convert to curves, right? No, actually, this should be fine. So all I, all I got to do now is file, export to file. And now I could export as an AI file. Um, but if we're going into Cricut, I could probably either want to export it as a PNG or an SVG. And I could do that. So if you're looking for cool design software that's a little bit easier, it's kind of like an intermediate. You're not quite ready to go and pay for that $30, $40 a month Illustrator subscription but you do want something specifically designed for cutting, you know, you could buy the software outright. Now, I don't have the software pricing off the top of my head. I believe it's about $160 or so to buy the Sign Master program outright. The program is included for free when you get the cutter. So as a kind of a long way of answering your question, and I'm, I apologize, but yes, you could use the software to create graphics um, to then, but then when you send them to your Cricut, you'll have to open up your Cricut program import the graphic and proceed like that. Uh, also another comment, no mat needed. No, you can actually load your vinyl straight into here. Now, if I was gonna contour cut something like heat transfer paper using the printing cut feature, then I just might put it on a mat. Um, if you're ever gonna pierce all the way through a material, you'll want a cutting mat. But if we're just cutting the top layer, like doing a kiss cut, as some people call it, yeah, no, um, no mat required. Uh, Trick says, I noticed that yours is SignMaster 5.0, mine says 3.5. Do I need to update it? Um, you can pay for the upgrade if you want to. Um, I believe so. There's a handful of new features in, uh, I believe it's 5.5 uh, that were recently released, and that you'll just do that within the software. I think you go to like help. Uh, if you need help doing that, you can always call our, our tech support team. Do you see it right there, right here? <laughs> You can call 800-215-0894 and you can talk to tech support and they'll be able to help you. Uh, talk, they'll talk to you about upgrading. Uh, I don't know if there's a cost associated to it um, just because I haven't upgraded mine yet. This is this is our, we just put it on this computer. So this one's going to have the latest version. I believe it's going to be the same though. Um, how long is the sale? So this is our end of summer sale. I don't have the exact date on me, but from what I understand, it's very likely going to be running until the end of the week, maybe next week. They haven't told me an exact date yet. I believe it's going to be a, approximately one to two week sale. Not 100% on that. Now, here's where you don't want to take too much time is that the, our sales, we run them while supplies last. So we have a certain amount of vinyl systems Evos, right? They're, they're, they're earmarked for this sale. They're, they're discounted. But if we happen to sell all of those, then even if the sale's still running, whatever Evos we have left, those are gonna go back to regular price. So you definitely have a little time, but I wouldn't take too, too much time uh, if, you're, if, you, if you need to figure out which cutter is gonna be best for you. I'm not saying that to pressure anybody, that's just the reality of it. Uh, sale is while supplies last. Now, if you need help figuring out which cutter is gonna work great for you, again, oh, I pointed the wrong way. Again, <laughs> you could call us 800-215-0894. Great questions, great questions. Um, yeah, so so that's our cut. Now, I'm not gonna uh, press this today only because I only had so much space up here. Um, but man, I absolutely love this cut. I love the precision. Uh, but if the Evo is a little too much cutter for you, don't worry, there's lots of great options. Um, the Cameo, I, I think I said this already, but the Cameo, um, the Cameo 4, actually all of our Silhouette Cameo, the 4, the Plus, the Pro, they're all on sale right now. A little birdie told me that there might be a new Cameo coming out next year. That's why they are on sale. But dude, I'll take a discount. The regular price of the 12-inch model is like $300, and right now you can get it for $220. Dude, such a good deal. I'm telling you, you could earn faster than you could save. 
So if you need to get started on a Cameo, you could just start making money, do it. Let the Cameo pay for itself and let it pay for your Evo. Let it pay for your next big cutter. Um, but it's usually more important to get started than to wait around till you have the perfect cutter and all that jazz. Okay, so really quick, we have a couple more slides that I, I, I wanna show you. Now this next one um, we're, is a comparison. This is the Vinyl Systems line of cutters. Um, and we're gonna bring it on screen honestly so you could hit pause and screenshot it. Um, too much info to get into here while we're live. We, we are on a time limit. Um, so yeah, go ahead and, and feel free to screenshot that if you want to, or you could always watch, I know some of you guys are watching live right now. You could watch the replay, pause it, take down all that info. Um, but as you can see, the specialist and the edge, they're basically identical under, hood, under the hood with the exception of contour cutting and the software. Um, so keep that in mind. And then the Edge and the Evo, that's where we start to see the real upgrade in performance. Uh, and that's because the Evo adds that servo motor. Um, and really quick, next slide again, you're probably just gonna wanna screenshot this one. Um, the main differences between the stepper and the servo. So when we're talking about stepper motors, we're talking about the silhouette uh, cutters. We're talking about the GCC Expert, the GCC AR24. Um, what else are we talking about? We're talking about the Vinyl Systems uh, Specialist, the Vinyl Systems Edge. Those all use a stepper motor. Now, because stepper motors are a little bit more simple, uh, that means that you could put them in a more affordable vinyl cutter. So they 100% have their place. I Again, I have a Cameo, that's a stepper motor, and I love it. Um, but hey, sometimes you have just more needs. You need more from your cutter, and that's when you're probably gonna wanna go for a servo, um, where you're gonna get, you know, uh, usually, I mean, again, for me, it's the noise factor. That's where I, that's what I appreciate most about the servo. But sometimes you're cutting those thick materials. You need faster cuts. You need a little bit better precision. Uh, and that's when you're gonna wanna upgrade to the servo. Um, so yeah, now, today live, we do have a giveaway. I'm gonna be giving away two. $50 Heat Press Nation gift cards in just a few moments. So go ahead, um, go ahead and, and you know get settled in here. Give me about one or two minutes and, and we're gonna start our giveaway. Uh, we have one giveaway winner coming in from Facebook and we're gonna be giving one uh, gift card away to our YouTube. We're, we're, we're live streaming on both right now. Now this is up to you if you wanna open an extra tab and have both streams open, you're allowed to enter on uh, one time on each stream. Uh, so if you need to take a moment to do that, go for it. And, and while you're doing that, hey, do me a favor. If you're watching on Facebook, give our page a like and a follow. And if you're watching on it on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and uh, hit that notification bell while you're at it. I uh, would really appreciate it. The, it really encourages us to keep on delivering more uh, heat press content straight to you for free, absolutely free. So there's the links, you see them on screen here. By the way, I did mention that I was live on Instagram a little earlier and somebody on Instagram won a $50 gift card. Uh, so every week you're gonna catch us live, Facebook and YouTube, and then separately we run a different live on Instagram. So be sure you're following us at Heat Press Nation on Instagram. Heck, we're even on TikTok uh, for all you cool kids out there who are TikToking. Uh, yeah, check it out. I know I made myself sound like an idiot by saying TikToking, but whatever. I'm a dad now, so I really don't have to care what anybody thinks. I could just be myself. It's like the best thing about being a dad. <laughs> so, so yeah, um, but yeah, be sure to check us out on social media. Lots of cool stuff coming your way. And yeah, every Thursday we're giving stuff away. Today it's a fifty dollars Heat Press Nation gift card. Next week, who knows? All right. Now, if you're ready to win go ahead and settle in because here's what we're gonna do. All you, oops. Making me look like a fool. <laughs> All you have to do to enter is type in a hashtag. Now, you could enter once on Facebook, once on YouTube, but don't spam the comments because our program, it pulls one from each stream. Uh, so, all you have to do to enter is comment the hashtag cutters. You see it there on your screen? Make sure you use the hashtag or pound sign and spell cutters with an S. That's C-U-T-T-E-R-S, cutters, C-U-T-T-E-R-S. I was about to read that off like Miss Rachel. Uh, my son loves Miss Rachel. Can you say cutters? 
Yay! You know, Miss Rachel, all right. <laughs> Go ahead and comment. I'm gonna give you guys like one minute. Go ahead and comment once on the Facebook live stream, once on the YouTube live stream. Entries are open now, and I do see them coming in here. There we go, there we go. Somebody commented cutter. No, 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 make sure you have the S. You have to spell it right, otherwise the computer is not gonna pull your comment from all the other comments. So yes, hashtag cutters with an S, C-U-T-T-E-R-S. I wanna make sure everybody has a good shot at winning. Don't want anybody to left out from the opportunity to win. There we go. Uh, Caps lock does not matter. Um, just make sure you use the pound sign and that it is spelled correctly with an S. Hashtag cutter. I'll give everybody a few more seconds here. Go ahead and open. Uh, T-Town shirt says, I'm gonna be on both pages. Do it, I double dog dare you. Feel free to enter once on Facebook, once on YouTube. There we go, there we go. Uh, I do like this comment from Trix Bedrick. For those of you who are planning to buy a vinyl cutter, consider buying one with contra cutting option. I wish I knew about this option before I bought mine. Nice addition to it. Very cool. Jeff B says he has the 52 inch. Love this machine. Oh, very cool. Yeah, that is that 52 is massive. I don't even think my wingspan is 52 inches. Uh, so yeah, very cool. All right, all right, entry, entries are closed. Thank you guys, everybody who was able to comment and get your orders in. We're gonna go ahead and beep, boop, beep, boop. We're gonna go ahead and let our computer do its thing. And I'll announce the winners as soon as they're up. May have to hide, uh, I may have to hide that, uh, sorry, something blocking me. Okay, somebody's lucky, all right. I know, I recognize this name. Donna Howard, I don't know how you do it, all right? Um, she is our winner on Facebook. All right, let's go on YouTube. And you know what, Donna, if you win on YouTube, I'm just like not gonna read your name. I'm gonna read a different name, all right? <laughs> I'm just playing. All right, on YouTube, our winner is Becky. Sorry if I say this wrong, Choplin, Choplin, my bad, but hopefully your $50 HPN gift card makes up for any mispronunciation. So uh, you two, go ahead and email us, winner at heatpressnation.com, winner at heatpressnation.com to claim your prizes, uh, and we'll get you those gift cards as soon as possible. Hey, if you didn't win, don't worry, next week you're gonna have a whole new set of chances and we'll see what prizes we have next week. Again, we start going live, eh, typically around like morning-ish times. We're still kind of figuring that out, but we're live on Instagram and on YouTube and Facebook. So what I would recommend, if you wanna know when we're going live, sign up for notifications. So if you're on Instagram, turn on your Instagram notifications uh, here on Facebook or YouTube, turn on your notifications. That way you could know every time we're going live so you could have a chance to win so to everybody who didn't win today, you're not a loser, you're a future winner. All right, it looks like that's gonna do it for me, unless anybody has a question. And I do see everybody giving their congratulations. So cool. That's what I love about our community. Everybody's like just real supportive and cool. And honestly, there's not a lot of streams out there <laughs> where people are just so darn nice in the comments. So I wanna thank everybody for being really great. Um, Heat Press Nation, we really do have some of the best customers around. And I'm not just saying this because you guys are watching. All righty. Well, hey, it looks like that's gonna do it for me here at Heat Press Nation. Uh, I wanna give a big shout out to Chris, the ghost of Chris. You guys usually see me here with Chris. Ghost Chris, how you doing today, buddy? Yeah. All right, get out of here, Chris. All right, uh, for me and Ghost Chris, I wanna thank you guys for joining. I hope to see you next week. Adios.